Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118. In the last episode, we kind of messed around with uh, getting a living chest that didn't go well, and uh, yeah, I'm in a bad relationship with the vaults, all right? Relationship with vaulting has ended. Relationship with getting my base more together has begun. Oh yes, today we're going to be cleaning some stuff up and starting. That is a suggestion I've gotten a bunch of times, uh, of course, to put our gems in compacting drawers to put our carbon in compacting drawers to put our knowledge essence in compacting drawers and i'm sure there's other things that i should put in compacting drawers so uh yeah i'm gonna get right on that as far as the gems go that need to be compacted we're already compacting laramar so that means we need our wudadai our beniatite uh our alexandrite and our echo gems i think those are the only ones actually we could check Oh, Painite, which I seem to have, aha, only extraordinaries of. Okay, okay, so we want Painite, and um, we can check what we need if we just look up perfect. Uh, Black Opal, yes, that's the one I'm missing. There we go. Okay, this should be all we need. And if you don't know what compacting drawer, it's not cheap. You need four chromatic steel and two extraordinary Laramar, so we're probably going to have to break down some Laramar, and we're going to need quite a bit of steel. Oh my gosh, actually, we have 11 Extraordinary Laramar, which is almost perfect, because we need 12 for this. So I guess we could just get away with breaking down this stuff. There we go. Yep, yeah, beautiful. Perfect. Or Extraordinary, I guess. So that should be enough to make all of our compacting drawers. And compacting drawers, man, they are great. They are awesome additions to Vault Hunters, because pretty much once I add these in... um. We're going to have no problem storing all this stuff. I'm going to probably be moving, yeah, our carbon out of here. Uh, I'll replace this actually with the carbon drawer. Yeah, yeah, it's coming together. Oh my gosh, why? Why are there, <laughs> why are there always pillagers? Ugh, go away. Just go away, all right? I just want to work on, like, drawers. Okay, I'll just put our gem drawers right here. And as you can see, all we have to do is just put the base gem in, and it already goes through and shows off the, uh, I didn't lock that. Uh, it already goes through. I didn't lock this one either. I've been, I'm not been locking my drawers. Okay, but you can see it, it compacts them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the gems I have from the system, dump them into the compacting drawers, and, uh, it'll be really cool. Da -da -da -da! The compacting drawers. Uh, this is, this is so helpful. I mean, look at this, right? All we have to do is put in our painite, and it'll compact it both into the perfects as well as the extraordinaries. If I take out an extraordinary, you see it goes down, right? It went from 12 perfects to, uh, 8 perfects. If I put it back, we get 4 more. So, so, so cool. And so, so helpful, right? Instead of having to, like, say if we want, you know, we need extraordinaries to make the knowledge stars, right? Uh, I don't have to break down my Beniatite, craft it into perfects, and then craft it into the extraordinaries. They're just already there in the extraordinary form. Same thing for all of the gems. It allows us to store a ridiculous amount. And also for our knowledge and carbon, uh, it just removes the need to craft them, right? Yeah, we'll see. We can see how much knowledge essence we've got here and how much carbon we've got there. Yeah, I mean, it is really helpful. The next thing I want to clean up is actually over here as well. I want to get better access to the external storage, uh, which means moving this line very slightly. Uh, this was a bad place to put this thing. So all it is going to do is just remove some of these cables. I'm going to make sure they're above my head. So they're at walking height instead and move some of these servers uh, just over. It'll be much cleaner. There we go. Now that is much, much nicer. I can access this a lot easier. I'm not going to bother with decorating this area because once we move into the mega base, which we'll be working on a little bit of mega base stuff, more fusion reactor stuff in this episode. Don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to have a special room. I'm already, I've already got ideas and thoughts in my brain and my mind. I have a pretty cool idea where to keep all of these drawers, uh, but a little more work on the drawers needs to be done. And that is going to be in the form of Kajirian because I'm so, so tired. Every time I want a mob drop, from my Kajurium setup, I gotta go here, I gotta get over here, I gotta get on up here, this is boring, it takes forever, I'm moving these guys down, this guy needs a proper drawer, these guys need proper drawers, and there's a bunch of cages that need to be made. 
And for our little Kajurium setup, at least for the hostile mobs, I want to add three more. I want to add magma cubes to make magma cream, zombified piglins to make more rotten flesh, gold nuggets, and gold. And I want slime to be a flowing. Uh, and that should really round off all the hostile mobs, except, of course, the Vindicator, which we don't have. Well, we have seven chances at a Vindicator, now that I think about it. Hopefully we get one. Probably not, knowing our luck. <gasps> Wait! Uh, none of it. Evoker? Is it? Is that? Is that it? <laughs> is that it, really? <laughs> no way! That's, that's the thing! That's the guy. Wow. Not when I needed the totems, I guess, but uh, we have one. It's amazing. This will make emeralds and totems. That is, I think, every single hostile mob that produces a unique drop. I'm looking at the list right now. Yeah. 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 I could add a shulker to this to get sure. I'll add a shulker. Why not? Right? Why not add a little shulker? That's everything. That's all the unique drops from Kajurium. Oh my gosh. Each mob cage takes 48 chromatic steel which is really the killer for us uh so if we want to make four of them oh hold on i'm not good enough to do this on my head calculator time it's 192 chromatic steel which means we need a little over 300 carbon and we have a little over 300 carbon so um bombs away right i think three stacks should be enough oh my gosh this is the most chromatic steel we've ever had at once oh it's beautiful Oh, but crafting the black chromatic steel is going to be super easy since all it like we don't have to craft down the perfect black opal. That is really nice, actually. <laughs> that, is, that is nicer than I thought it would be. Oh, same thing with the Wutotic masses. No worrying. And then the Laramar stuff we need. Okay, we need to break down some Laramar, but all the Laramar stuff we need is easy. Oh, man. I highly recommend. I highly recommend the use of compacting drawers. And as is the tradition of the ore tower, I'm going to take this moment to say thank you so much for watching. And if you are enjoying, I would really appreciate it if you would help out the channel and subscribe. It really means a ton to me. We have an awesome Discord server that uh, I've recently just got help with. Some amazing help, so it's really looking professional. So if you, you know, want to subscribe or become a part of the community, it would mean a great deal to me four ominous skulls turning into four mob cages whoa this is an expensive build and we are left with uh oh almost a stack of chromatic steel so i don't know i said the number and then i immediately forgot it that's <laughs> very professional here we need to one by ones i think that's gonna be oh i didn't have to do that we need a two by two and then we need a four by four and that pretty much rounds off oh i said i'd add a shulker didn't i um well i don't know i don't want to spend that much more chromatic steel and when did it become nighttime you know what we have 627 shulker shells from the vault i'm gonna wait on the shulker spawn egg yeah maximum slime oh they're tiny oh <laughs> wow they are really small okay i thought that maybe um i thought that they'd be bigger is that gonna be the case for the magma cube that's a little bigger okay it looks so sad in there all alone let us imprison the evoker. Yes, you deserve to be in that cage. This magma cube looks way too cute to be in there. You, sir, you deserve to be in there. And then let's get a maximum zombified piglin. And yeah, that's that's what we be needing. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. We've already got our witch in their own little corner because they require this little setup that we're going to need to give uh, to another one of our guys. Oh, look at that. They all just produced. Whoa. These guys produce six at a time? That is not bad. Alrighty, I do want to add these two fishies. So a little bit of this going on. Okay, cool. I do have a binding plate. So one, two, and then one, two, three. This stuff is very easy. I guess I could also put our vault meat into a compacting drawer, so I don't need to do this either, because you can pack this down even further. Yeah, why not, right? It's the theme of the episode. I believe fish need two by two drawers, and I should make two more, actually, because we've got our salmon and our cod very sadly attached to a chest. I don't... Oh my gosh, that breaks very fast, and it makes a glass breaking sound. Oh, my heart... Oh, my heart just stopped. Okay, Whew, we're good. We are great. I also feel like some sticks fell somewhere. Okay. 
puffer fish in there. <laughs> okay, they look pretty. Why aren't they on their side like the rest of the fish? Why do they look so weird? <laughs> that's that's pretty good. I like that a lot. Okay, that's the hostile mobs, and now our peaceful mobs. And I moved everything over. Tons of drawer upgrades. Things are getting locked. Very nice. So now we just need to add in the two binding plates here at the end. And I was thinking about the Elder Guardian, and it occurred to me that the only reason we would need to do more than a 4x4 drawer is if we wanted to get all the fish it produces. But I don't care about the fish it produces since we're already producing in that with the cod and the salmon and all that. Right. It already produces. We already produce all the fish way faster. So all I actually care about is wet sponges, prismarine crystals, and prismarine shards. So we're only going to need to be making a 4x4 drawer. And I'm sure it will. Oh, that's right. You can't make extra. You can't make the drawer. Weird bug, I guess, with the the wireless storage is for the for the drawer recipe right where you where you have this button that button is not present in wireless so you know you do need a grid in any case though that really simplifies the binding plate for our elder guardians um are we gonna want to put an upgrade in that withers looking a little cramped so there you go buddy a little extra headspace for you and here we go beautiful and i'm just gonna lock it i don't need this thing to make the fish because I mean, look how much faster we're producing fish than this guy ever could. I think 10 puffer fish is more puffer fish than we ever had. Uh, because these things, well, obviously this just produces puffer fish and it produces it faster. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is all of our cagerium. Uh, all I have to do now is run some trim underneath it and we can wipe our hands with this. Okay, that should be all the trim laid down connected to the controller, which means... That we should be live. Probably see some mob drops up top here. Uh, I don't know, actually. Hmm. I don't think I'm seeing anything. I'm seeing our knowledge and stuff. Interesting. If I look up gunpowder, 310. Ooh, something is wrong. Did I miss a corner? I always miss corners. Aha! I missed a corner. Oh, so bad of me. All right. Now, if I do the quantify trick, we should see... Connectivity, boop, boop, beautiful. So now if I go into the system, we should see the many thousands of mob drops. Yes, beautiful gunpowder, rotten flesh. Um, What else? Oh, gas tears. Boy, that's a lot of gas tears. Oh, this is, this is amazing. This is great. So what this means for me is that when I'm crafting crystals, all I have to do is literally stand right here open up our wireless thing and just toss stuff into it. It's as easy as that. It's, it, it, it is as easy as that. There we go. I can say all my words. Speaking of wireless stuff, I should make a battery because one thing that happens is the wireless grid pulls a lot of power, but you can see this is a battery from power. And uh, for this craft, which is legitimately pretty cheap. Oh, I can actually, there we go. I could even make one of them uh, for a pretty cheap craft. I mean, not like, the cheapest thing you need a little bit of laramar up front um oh and of course the dielectric paste dielectric paste is my bane uh but just for this after so much clicking you can make this guy which charges the stuff in your inventory and uh, if you could imagine this thing holds a million fe yeah this holds one million fe which is incredible all we do is put it in there this thing starts to uh, suck up some energy. It only takes in 1,000 energy at a time, so it's supposed to take a few seconds. And there we go. Put that in our inventory, and I'm pretty sure if we put it rather in a curio slot. Oh, okay. I see it goes into the. Wow, that. What is? <laughs> what is going on with that? Well, if we put this into our curio slot. Oh, don't I have to? Do I have to activate it? Hold on, I'm gonna have to activate it. Eh, there we go. I have to activate it. Perfect. And now, as long as it's in our inventory, it will charge our wireless grid. Now, we don't really have a slot for it. I guess we could replace the magnet when we're in the overworld, but I kind of don't want to. So what I'm probably going to do is just leave it as like an overworld thing, right? Uh, so, you know, I could dump it in a chest or anything like that. Or I could actually have, I know what I could do. I could use this wardrobe. Yeah, because I don't need my wireless crafting grid in the vault, obviously. So I could just make it that. 
There we go, because I don't need... There's nothing in here that I need in the overworld, right? No, so when I'm out of the vaults, I could just do that. Oh! Oh, I see. I have to hold shift? Oh, that takes everything off. Oh my gosh, I have no idea how to use this thing. Well, this works. Yeah, just swaps the battery on. Swaps the battery on. You know what? I'm... I don't know. That's This is too high-tech for me. I'm just going to leave it in a chest, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm scared of the fancy stuff. Oh, actually, I'm not going to leave it in the chest. I, I want it on me. Because I, I want I want to craft the crystal, you know? I want I want to just... I want to see how easy and convenient this is, right? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Look at all this stuff, right? All this stuff. I don't have to move for it. I want my chicken. I get my chicken. Here we go. Here's a bunch of chicken. I don't, I don't know if this is enough chicken. I think I saw... There was deep slate there. It's not going to be enough deep slate, but you know we can we can dream a little bit, a little more deep slate. There we go. Now we need some pointed dripstone and snubbles. And there we go. I didn't have to move. That took no time at all. Oh my gosh, it's lovely. And now you know, even if it's mob drops, I could just do that too. Oh, see, 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 cod and prismarine. Instead of having to run all the way up there, uh, you know, possibly getting the wrong amount. Just take out my two stacks of cod, take out a little bit of prismarine crystals, just like so, and there we go. Uh, I definitely don't have a thousand dirt, um, but I can make dirt. I have a little dirt generator, so... Okay, well, it's besides the point. Besides the point. Now it's going to last a lot longer because of our battery, and we can actually do cool stuff with it because we put all of our Kajurium things and trimmed them up. This is this is amazing. Now, next up on the list is continuing with our fuel production. We're almost there. We have a massive amount of heavy water and a massive amount of liquid lithium, all of which we can access from anywhere in the world from our uh, storage system. Now, admittedly, it's not actually the hard water and the liquid lithium that I want to be able to access wirelessly. It is the tritium and deuterium, but those are gases. However, you can see there is a liquid tritium, which is just you put uh, gaseous tritium into a condensator and you can turn it into liquid tritium. And of course, the vice versa is true. You could put liquid tritium in a decondensator and it turns into tritium. So basically, all I have to do is store liquid tritium and liquid deuterium, the same thing I just said was truthfully deuterium, and then send that wirelessly over to a fusion reactor, decondense and trade it into a gas, and pump it in. Which means we don't actually need to connect to our lithium or, or uh, hard water, we need to connect to tritium and deuterium. There's a lot of big words, but just the green liquid and the red liquid, we need it. First thing I'm gonna do is actually move the heavy water production underground it just takes up so much space at least the way that i have it and uh because we're gonna want two more dynamic tanks right we're gonna have a bunch of dynamic tanks i like having the big buffer of lithium and the big buffer of heavy water so uh give me a second to move all this ah okay underground is a little uh a little testy i see all right, that gives us a lot more room to work with. As an added touch, I've added the valve here and here so that the output is very, very easy for both our lithium and our hard water. So to make tritium, we just need to put it into a solar neutron activator and it needs to be gaseous lithium, so we'll need a decondensator. So we'll actually need two, right? A decondensator to turn liquid lithium to gas lithium and then another decondensator to turn gaseous tritium rather into liquid tritium. And deuterium is really, really simple. We just need one electrolyte separator put in the heavy water, turns it into deuterium as well as oxygen. And then of course we need a condensator to turn the uh, gaseous deuterium into liquid deuterium, and then a few more dynamic takes to store millions and millions of millibuckets of the stuff. Although actually I don't need to store millions and millions of the stuff just because like, it's just something that's gonna be, you know, pumped through. So maybe, maybe not millions of the stuff. Maybe I'll just use regular fluid tanks. Yeah, that's probably the best idea. Well, I got everything ready for the solar neutron activator, except of course for the HDPE sheet. And I actually remember these from playing Sky Factory. HDPE sheets require HDPE pellets. HDPE pellets need to be substrate oxygen and ethylene uh, or liquid ethylene or whatever. And you got to get the gas ethylene and the gas ethylene you get from making the substrate with the biofuel and you need the hydrogen and pressurized reaction chambers. And um, yeah, none, none, none of which, none of which I'm going to do in this episode. Maybe you could get solar neutron activators from mod boxes. I don't know, but I'm going to roll some mod boxes. 
11 of them. Is that another heat generator? Okay, I thought it was another heat generator. Oh my gosh, two blazing energy cells. That is nice. And steel casing. Oh, wow. Okay, got some good stuff. These are just guys I had. And the burgers, we'll get to the burgers. Uh, Pretty good. I think I'll just, I'll keep these for now. The burgers are for mini me, who's looking mighty hungry. Uh, they're only a level 50 out of 67. They're very much falling behind. Uh, and I have, what is this, like 100 and something. It's a stack and a half of burgers. All right, it's a stack and a half of burgers. They're salty, deluxe. I'm hoping for like three or four levels. Five would be great. But uh, let's let's do, um, what, is this called mukbang when you eat a lot of food? Mini me mukbang go. Ooh, I thought maybe we wouldn't get level 53, but we did, which I believe makes him the level of the helmet. Uh, and that is about it. Okay, well, have some more health, my mini, mini friend. I don't know if him being the level of the helmet actually means anything. I don't, I don't think it does. But uh, there you go, mini me. Looking a lot better. And if you're wondering why I'm giving the mini me the burgers and not me, well, I don't, I don't need to, um... I don't think I'll be eating burgers for a while. I will, however, buy a knowledge shard. I will also buy another knowledge shard. I will buy a third knowledge shard. Now this is cool and all, and I am gonna try to buy that, but uh, I believe with this knowledge shard, 312. Yeah, that's enough to unlock Batania. Magic Flower episode coming soon.